This is a video of me installing the concrete footings for the cattle guard that you see in the background. First thing I'm doing is removing the gravel from the road. We're in the middle of a pretty bad drought so the ground is really hard. The ground is so hard at this point that I'm pretty much can't do anymore with just the bucket. So I attached the root bucket which works pretty good as a uh, poor man's backhoe. You can see those giant chunks of black land clay look which are about as hard as concrete. Here I'm checking to see if I got the width and the depth of the hole correct. And it's not quite big enough so I gotta widen it and make it a little bit deeper. This is a 360 view of uh, where the cattle guard is going on my land. And now I'm starting to build the farms to uh, pour the concrete in. It's a really hot day so might as well do as much work as I can inside. These plywood pieces are the end pieces for the farms. The farm's going to be a L shape so that the cattle guard sits in that L where the uh, knee of the vertical and the horizontal planes meet. When I pour the concrete, I'll pour the bottom part first and then put some boards in that board and bottom portion of the farm so the concrete doesn't come out and then pour the top portion. And this is the farm for the second half of the footer. Time to move everything out of the shade and uh, get out in the sun and start working. The plan is to put both footers in as a unit so that hopefully they're correctly spaced. And of course the hole is a little bit too narrow so I gotta dig it out. The day I decided to do this work it was 107 degrees. Now I'm staking the farms off so that the farms stay in the right place. I'm sorry essential craftsman, I'm using round stakes, uh, I know you square stakes are much better. Here I'm backfilling the bottom of the farms uh, so that they're level and I don't waste too much concrete. in the month of August and it hasn't rained more than four inches all year long. I need to compact the fill so I'm going to wet it down first. Now I'm using a hand tamper that I uh, rigged up like 30 minutes before. I think these dogs are smarter than their owner because they're in the shade and I'm outside working. I put in three sticks of number four rebar in the bottom and two sticks of rebar in the top.
This is footage of Concrete Day. Um, I didn't want to mess around with the camera too much, so I just left it in one place. So I apologize if the footage is not the most exciting. My footings took three yards of concrete. Uh, I can't imagine doing any more than that by myself. My finished work is not really the best, but who cares, it's a cattle guard. This is definitely not the driver's first time around. You can see him standing in the shade of his chute while I'm out there working. One footer down, one to go, and I'm pretty exhausted. Here are the boards I was talking about earlier that I'm using to keep the concrete in the bottom from coming out when I put the concrete in the top. Unfortunately, I lost all the footage of me actually installing the Caligard. I thought about pulling this one out, putting it back in just to record it, but uh, I'm not doing that. This footage was taken about two months later, and now we have the opposite problem where it won't stop raining. But if you live in Texas, you should never complain about it raining. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and please hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.